Hello everyone, it's Lindenherz. Yeah, as I promised, uh, you will learn in this video how to make a super easy, super versatile uh, bread, crispy and tasty, and a perfect companion for your homemade butter. Um, so I hope you will enjoy this little slideshow. And we will see us at the end of the slideshow uh, when I start to mix the um, um, the wet and the dry ingredients. So have fun! dry mix. Um, I added a bit uh, different uh, um, spices in there this time, uh, a bit different than those you saw in the um, slideshow. I also added a bit of an uh, anise, not, not anise, um, a bit of fennel and a bit of um, caraway seeds. Um, but I added those uh, uh, into the, the grain mill so the um so the spices were grounded with the flour or with the grains together and yeah uh this now uh, uh i will add now the um the water this is uh 500 uh, and no 450 uh, milliliters of hand temperature water and before i will add it of course i have to add the the yeast this is the kind of yeast I will use for this. As you saw at the beginning of the video, probably, and this comes in this kind of square shape, this block shape, if my camera wants to focus. I have to be, uh, I have to say sorry, because sometimes you will see some, uh, yeah, as you saw here, some uh, kind of shadow here, because it's not so easy, the light is here behind me, and uh, no other light source here, so I have to be a bit careful with that, so you can see it. And I, what I'm basically doing is uh, simply I'm crumbling it in, into the uh, water, which has hand temperature. So, this is what I will add. And then, of course, it has to dissolve into the warm water. 
You can uh, stir it a bit if you want with a spoon. Basically, you have to wait a bit before this is ready and you can add it. As I probably mentioned before, because this will be kind of a, uh, 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 yeah, a scrapbook kind of uh, uh, a video with uh, all sorts of little bits and pieces. Uh, as I mentioned before, this is a bread you don't have to, yeah, you just put it in the cold oven and then raise the temperature for this this bread. And this is uh, quite important for this. It might, uh, uh, might seem quite unusual because normally you have to leave the bread alone so it can rise or raise, raise, I guess it's a raise, I don't know. <laughs> So it can get bigger <laughs> and then you have to yeah get a bit of uh, handwork into this bread again this is totally different this is uh, quite an easy bread um, as I said um, you just add the this mixture into this and then you have to steer it you can also go in with your hands but um, yeah Sometimes I like it and sometimes not because this mix will be quite wet. Um, it's sometimes easier uh, to just stir it with a spoon, with a big spoon. I always use a wooden spoon for this. Um, this is quite quite easier. And um, um, what I'm doing at the end then is the moment when I just uh, put in my fingers uh, to make sure that... Um, that every uh, bit of the dried ingredients dissolved into the water and uh, there is not no uh, no kinds of uh, dry spots in in the bread um what is also important for this and i will show you this in the next step is that you have a baking tin for this bread you can try it uh, just uh, to form a kind of loaf uh, of this bread but um it could be that this bread turned out quite flat, so um, a, a baking tin is quite uh, quite helpful for the, this uh, bread. And I will show you my baking tin. I know there are so, certainly um, different baking tins uh, in America and also in, in England. I don't know how this is in Australia, but I guess there are all sorts of different kinds of uh, baking tins, so you can see what or how you will adjust to this um yeah to this recipe with that so um yeah i will share with you uh the next step when this will be uh, dissolved in the water or well, this is dissolved in the water and um i will add it then and i have to see how i will move that cause yeah though this kind of uh thing would work because uh i don't want uh, that my shadow <laughs> just hides uh the important stuff so until the next clip so back again and as you see uh, I had already added some uh, of the wet ingredients um, uh, two um, tablespoons of apple cider which is uh, yeah helping helping the bread to uh, yeah I don't know what what it is for actually but it helps and um, yeah to like I said to uh, Tablespoons, you will certainly have other kinds of tablespoon measurements in uh, England and Australia and America. And um, what I will now do is uh, add the, uh, the water yeast mix. And before that, I will present to you this, um, yeah, this greased and dusted baking tin. This is the kind of baking tin I'm using here. Um, yeah, and it's uh, quite useful. Um, because, like I said before, the bread is quite wet and uh, it's quite uh, <laughs> difficult to arrange all of this here in this tiny, tiny kitchen. So, let's see how, we've, how far we can come uh, without me making some crazy shadows here. <laughs> so, let's see if it all dissolved fine. So, let's see, yeah, it's okay. So, that's okay now. And now I start to move everything. You see, I try to find 
or bring the water into those regions here inside this uh, bread mix. Um, yeah, where every can everything can mix and mingle together. You can certainly you can do it with your hands. Um, this uh, bread recipe is yeah is quite um, for me it's quite an easy and um, a most reliable one. Um, we are baking bread for I know know for years now. Uh, Henrik is even more skilled, or his family is even more skilled, because uh, I guess they always break their uh, bake their bread by themselves. And um, but uh, sometimes when you want to do a bread uh, which is more of a loaf kind of shape, uh, and you do all those uh, recipes and so on, it's not always. I don't know why it's not always reliable. There are always. It was not. Um, there were no recipe where where I will, would or was able to to say, mm, this is the bread recipe for life, <laughs> and I'm sure how to uh, which which kind of bread I'm getting out of this. We had certain uh, a lot of kind of bread accidents. <laughs> a lot of bread accidents happened uh, where either uh, the bread was kind of. Um, yeah, too moist inside, or well, you weren't able to to cut it properly because it fell apart, and yeah, and I was quite, <laughs> you can say I was quite uh, disappointed, and um, there was some certain despair <laughs> I had because of that, and then I found, uh, like I told you, found this um, recipe online on this uh, online cooking platform here from Germany. And thought, okay, I will give this a go. I will give this a go and I will see what happens. And I was quite happy because this uh, recipe is right, quite thankful. Mm, this doesn't mean that sometimes the bread... You have to be careful when you put it in the tin. Because um, you have to press it really good into inside the tin. Because sometimes there can be holes. And when the bread is ready and you want to cut it, um, yeah, it's not so easy then to cut it because of the holes and it also fell apart. So always a bit tricky, a bit tricky. Bread making is really a science for itself. But um, yeah, it's uh, nonetheless, it's gorgeous and lovely. And uh, uh, there is no, uh, no better thing ten, than to uh, eat fresh bread with a crispy crust. And this recipe is also so versatile because you can put in every kind of herb or ingredient or so. You can also do a sweet bread, some kind of a, a fruit bread or something like this or with nuts or so on. I didn't try it with nuts and fruits, but um, I heard that others tried that. And um, yeah, maybe one time I will give it a go. But at the moment I'm happy with, with the spices and herbs and so on. And yeah... With this grain mix we are doing so now i will try i don't know mm, where i do i have my oil i will try to remove it from the tin without without getting here uh, some kind of camera baking massacre or something like that <laughs> some kind of accident so i will try now to um take it out with my hands but before that uh, another tip to those who never did this before always oil your hands with some, with some kind of olive oil or maybe sunflower oil so I'm using this one here it's not the best of oils but uh, this is one I quite like so now I will oil my fingers a bit And then I will try to remove, you can see, I try to get it outside without uh, leaving so much of the, the dough stuff in. Um, so I can have some, there's a whole, um, yeah, the whole dough inside my hands. It's not always easy, as you can see here. And it is, like you, like I said, it is a quite wet mix. So now I try 
to move this out of my way. <laughs> this is not easy. This is a really um, difficult thing. Um, maybe I have to try something different. Or I guess something drift on the floor. <laughs> so. This. You can, as I said, you can try to make a loaf of it. But you see, it's quite, yeah. So now I will put it in there. And then I will try to press it in. So sometimes it's also useful to oil your hands again because this uh, bread dough is quite thirsty for oil. And sooner or later, there's not much left on your hands. So traditionally, you can guess bread is uh, you do it a different way but um, this is the kind of um, bread baking uh, for <laughs> for busy people and it's quite easy and you can in, in my oven this time I only prepared <laughs> one dough normally I'm doing three at once because the rest we put in the the freezer um, yeah and have something in stock and yeah the uh, one is for enjoyment <laughs> so now I guess it's quite solid in here yeah quite solid in here yeah and what I said you put it in a cold oven um, the temperature I told you before I already forget it again <laughs> um, you put it in a cold oven and then uh, then uh, uh, yeah adjust the temperature to to the oven or adjust the temperature itself, and uh, it will rise into the, or raise rise <laughs> rise into the uh, in, in the oven uh, while it's baking basically, and you leave it there in there for um, yeah one hour, and um, yeah uh, after that um, you can leave it just for a bit longer maybe something like 10 minutes but firstly you have to remove it from the baking tin uh, this is just a tip I read uh, in in the recipe in the original recipe I don't do it normally I just leave it uh, one hour in there sometimes one hour and five minutes but uh, sorry <laughs> one hour and five minutes and then um, remove it leave it a bit cool uh, leave it a bit to cool in the baking tin and then remove it by just flipping it over but you will see it when it is ready to uh, get flipped over and we will see us uh, yeah uh, in a couple of seconds I guess although I have to wait one hour until this gorgeous bread is ready and uh, a bit more until it is cooled because it's this kind of bread is um, better eaten or to be eaten um, when it's a bit more cooled off with uh, these kind of freeform loaves, you can uh, you can break it up and eat it. But this, when you want to to make fine slices of bread, um, you have to cool it down, or the bread has to cool down. So you will see us in a couple of seconds. So finally. Uh, the bread is ready and uh, also uh, cooled down. Um, I or almost cooled down, almost here. Yeah. I will leave it until uh, tomorrow morning, and uh, you can join me when I'm cutting the first slices. Then it's also better to film because there are no shadows <laughs> like in this case. So until tomorrow. Good morning. It's time to cut the bread. So, oh, listen to this. This is, oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. This is so good. And as you see, there are no, uh, yeah, air holes in it. I pressed it in the baking tin quite fine. Um, uh, it was quite good and solid. And so we can, uh, cut uh, proper slices of bread yeah this is good there's a good crust ok 
can see here. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. And it's jam-packed with goodies, with linen seeds, with sesame seeds, with, uh, with, uh, uh, let's see, with chia seeds. I wanted to say chai seeds, <laughs> no, chia seeds. Um, and uh, what else did I put in? Some spices, like I told you before, and uh, I have to look. Uh, no, I think that was it. And if I miss something, you will see it in the in the uh, in the recipe. But this looks so good and yummy. So this will get a proper treat now, proper um, a proper companion. Uh, how uh, what you will what you will see in the in the next little shot. So now you see. Uh, see the bread uh, from the beginning of the video and uh, now it's getting ready to be eaten with the gorgeous butter from my last video this is <sighs> huh? and then maybe a bit of marmalade or something on it or a bit of cheese or just just butter so i hope you enjoyed this uh bread making and try it for yourself and um yeah let me know uh if you try it and how you liked it and we will see us in the next video merry part mm -hmm.